Hello. Uh, in uh, this series, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to deal with time, dates, if, server referencing, and the VLOOKUP. I'm going to take you through these four stops, stop one, stop two, stop three, as well as stop four. In stop one, we are going to look at dates and time, so we are going to be able to work with dates as well as work with different times. So when working with dates, you are likely to have two dates uh, on which we have to make different calculations. In my case, I'm going to use the date of birth as well as today's date. But when entering the date, you must make sure that you follow the date format uh, on your machine, which is normally on the bottom uh, right of your screen. But uh, for me here, I can simply uh, try to get the system to show me uh, today's date and that will also give me the format. So I type today, open bracket, close bracket and then end. I will now have today's date and now I have to put in the date of birth. If the date of birth, for example, is 1997 and the month was in June and uh, the uh, date was the 20th. So we've got that and when you click outside and you may want to confirm that it is a date then you check uh, in the number group there it shows its date and this one as well is also date. Therefore the date, the age in days would be uh, the equal sign, the bigger number which is this date uh, minus the date of birth and when you click on enter you get your number of days. You can now work the number of years uh, as follows. Uh, you can now say equal sign the number of days which are in C4 uh, divided by 365. Uh, that then should give you uh, that number. Uh, but if I want the whole number, I want the whole, the full number, for example, because this one was already rounded up. So to get the rounded up figure now would be the reverse. You come here on the button which says decrease decimal, then you click uh, the number of times until if you want two decimal places, you end there. If you want one decimal place, you end there. If you want a whole number, then you will have that 23. Alternatively, you can uh, type equal sign, then round, then you open bracket. The number that we would like to round up is the one where we are uh, dividing the number of days by the number of days in a year to get our years. Then here between uh, the, you can put a comma or a semicolon depending on your machine. But in my case, I've got a comma as you can see there. So I'll put a comma. Then I must put the number of digits. So the number of decimal places. So in this case, I don't want the number. If I wanted one, I would type one. If I wanted two decimal places, I would write type two. But in this case, I don't want any. So I close the bracket. And then when I click on enter, I get my, my yes. This is how uh, we work with dates. Thank you very much.